When it comes to a conventional attic space, Ventilation Maximum makes a 301, a 302, and a 303. These are phenomenal vents as they are active vents, they're pulling air through the system. When you pull air through the system, you're also pulling any dust, mildew, and moisture along with it. A great feature with the 301, 302, and 303 is that they stick up out of the snow, allowing the roof to breathe 12 months of the year, even in snow loads. One of the many things I love about Ventilation Maximum's products is that they're powder coated. This makes them more durable during installation. Once you're happy with the location of your vent, place the flange on the shingles, ensuring that it's between two trusses. Make sure that the louvers will all be above the peak. Typically, this means your flange will be six to eight inches down from the ridge. If you're happy with that, take your marker and trace the inside of the flange, creating a template for your shingles and plywood to be cut. With your shingles mark, cut a quarter inch on the outside all the way around. Please make sure that the true hole is exactly 12 inches by 12 inches square. Now you can cut the plywood. Please set the depth of your saw so you don't cut the trusses. Now remove the shingles around the perimeter to expose the wood deck. Now apply a generous amount of rubberized cement all the way around the perimeter of the hole. With your rubberized cement in place, now place the flange onto the deck. With your base in place, you can now apply a generous bead of rubberized cement around the perimeter of the flange and then trowel it smooth. With the rubberized cement now troweled smooth, you can use neoprene washered wood grip screws to secure the base. Now install the shingles around the flange. If the roof slope is above 612, Ventilation Maximum has designed the flange to be flexible. There's marks on the side that indicate the pitch. With the flange in place, secure it with the screws provided. Place the ventilator on the flange, ensure that it's level, making sure that the louvers are above the peak. If you're happy with this, secure it into place with the screws provided. With your shingles installed and your vent in place, you can now apply a continuous bead of rubberized cement around your flange. Something that must be noted is it's very important that this bottom louver is six inches above the peak so the air can catch the louvers 360 degrees.